when you buy a new Malibu boat, the screen can, can seem kind of daunting. But in this video, I'm going to break it down so you can use it just like the pros. Like most readers, we'll start over here on the left side. On our small display over here, we have a variety of things we can control. Right now, I'm on the music selection. When you first turn on the boat, you'll want to power up the radio by pressing the power button here. You can pair your Bluetooth, Sirius XM radio, all, all the uh, aux, USB, AM, FM radio, all the options you have. It. On the next screen, we can control our lights. You can individually select which lights you want to turn on, and when you're done for the night, you can press all off in the bottom left-hand corner. On the next screen, we have our boat controls. While the bilges in the boat, the forward and rear bilge, are automatic, if you ever take a, a uh, large wave over the boat, you can turn them on manually yourself. You have your heater for your heater hoses, which has a low, a high, and off. The heater hoses run off the heat of the engine, so they'll start to get warm as the boat engine gets warm. The blower is also automatic when you start up the boat or when you turn the power on for the boat for the first time. Um, but if you were at the gas dock, didn't turn the power off, and wanted to run the blower, you can turn it on here manually as well. This last screen, you can load your apps onto the boat, and that way you don't need your phone uh, in the boat to play your music, get your weather apps, things like that. In the bottom left-hand corner of this screen, we can access our settings. Now there's hundreds things that we can change in the settings but most of them you really won't need to uh, mess with. The middle screen shows a variety of things as well. In the top left it'll always show you your depth. Right next to that are your engine diagnostics. Your engine temperature should be between about 140 to 180 degrees. It'll show your uh, battery voltage. Anything when the battery gets below about 11.5 is when I usually get concerned and check it out. And the oil pressure will be between about 50 and 80 when the boat is running. Over here on the left it shows you your speed, your fuel level, as well as your manual uh, uh, speed gauge. Right here in the middle we have our cruise control. I simply tap the gauge to turn it on and I can double tap while the boat is in neutral to type in the desired speed or I can use the arrows to bump it up and down. Up here, under the depth, I have my go home button. If I press this button, when I'm ready to head back to the dock, it'll drain my ballast, stow my wedge, put my surf gates in, and turn the cruise control off. So everything you need to prepare to head back to the dock is done with one simple button. In the bottom left, I have docking mode. This is a great feature uh, for getting used to the boat and how it handles when operating around docks or putting it on the trailer. What it does when you enter this mode, it decreases the sensitivity of the throttle. That way it uh, decreases the likelihood that you'll ram it into a dock or trailer or something of that nature. I can customize what I see in the center of the screen. Right now I have the ballast. I can fill them all at once, drain them all, stop all, or I can individually select a tank and fill it to my desired level. The next thing is my rider presets. This is an awesome feature that Malibu includes to make setting the boat up for wakeboarding, wake surfing, skiing, or whatever water sport you're doing very simple. You have your presets, wakeboard beginner, wakeboard intermediate, surf left, surf right, which, are, which come programmed into the boat. You can also program your own settings in here and name them James Surf or uh, Donnie Wakeboard. That way, every time your kid or you get in the boat, you can just click on their name and what sport they're doing, and the boat will set itself up uh, for, for whatever that activity is. So I would just simply click on the name, and then click load in my bottom right, and the boat starts to set it up. The third screen is just a large depth gauge. That way, when you're running around the lake, you can see your depth right front and center. The next one, is your reverse camera. I can click on this and have my reverse camera on the whole time. If your boat has this option, the camera will automatically turn on when you put the boat in reverse, but you can leave it up full time just by selecting that on your middle screen. The last page I have is the gauges. So it shows you your tachometer, as well as your oil pressure, fuel pressure, battery, uh, and your engine hours right here at the bottom. On the right side is where all the fun happens. I can select my surf side, it will always show me my ballast levels, and uh, I can adjust my wedge by clicking, 
and the top right of your screen shows you some useful information such as the time, the air temp, water temp, as well as your heading. The sport dash is a super easy way to adjust your wake or your wave. On top here we can change our surf size from surf left to surf right. On the bottom we can adjust our wedge up and down. We can turn the dial to adjust the music volume. We can push it in to um, pause the music and if we bump up the toggle it'll adjust our speed and if we bump left or bump right it'll change our song. What's really nice about the sport dash is you don't have to look at it. Your fingers become very familiar with uh, the buttons. That way you can keep your eyes in front of you, watching where you're going, or back on your rider.